What is up guys? Welcome back to Trip and Farm for Poverty. Where on this channel, our vision is to empower the impoverished by helping you find financial freedom through crypto assets. Once again, if you like that mission, you resonate with the vision, please smash that subscribe button or hit the like button or leave a comment. Even if you don't like it, this helps us get our video in front of more people. And you all know from what I just said, my vision is to actually use this platform to actually help with our broken financial system. Uh, so today, going to be talking about drip and is it dead? What's happening? And we're just going to look at a little bit of TA. There's um, not a lot of TA you can do on a small cap market coin like this, but um, it's just important to try to be unbiased and at the end of the day, gather as much data as possible so you can make a decision based off your own personal feelings towards the project, the use case, you know, everything else. So once you review everything, you decide uh, which way you think it's going to go. So we broke through this $50 level of support that we had. We were trading sideways for a while here between the 53 range and the 50 range. So this was a couple days or it looks like just maybe a day or two. Uh, let's zoom out. This is on the native decks on um, drip uh, dot community. So it's not the same as the one I'm going to show you shortly. And right now it's loading kind of slow. But the point being on the um, drip token here, we had this level of support and resistance that we broke through on the uh, let's zoom out. Uh, just recently so zooming out we had this $50 level here it depends on you know which deck you're on but it was around like the 51 to 55 range basically and if you zoomed in over here you would have saw like on the daily on the hourly it did trade sideways the hourly the 15 minute window here let's look at that it did kind of consolidate there briefly so it was a slow downtrend. We had some buys in here on the hourly, but it's pretty much still been a solid sell-off. And uh, this recent sell-off, I uh, believe, is due to another drip clone being created on the AVAX chain. It is actually by a com uh, community member. That's one of the OGs in drip, uh, Bitcoin Brown, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he's made a token on the AVAX. I'm not even going to show it because this is all about drip farm for poverty. So it's, if it's not a Forex project, I'm not going to be uh, looking into it. But what I wanted to go into on here is a little bit of TA to see if we are as bad off as we were. Um, so what I've drawn here using the tools on Deck Screener. If you're not familiar with Deck Screener, you can go in here and there are some... Uh, chart analysis tools and I just basically use the date and price range because it just makes it easier for you to see what is going on in the chart so basically I took this initial high and went all the way to the low before it started to uh, go back bullish again or re regain traction and this was just under 50 days so we had 50 days of a downward trend and it went down almost 80% that we lost so it was up here at $30. It doesn't look as bad as the other one, but I will show you that in a minute. It was up at about $30, and we went all the way down to... Uh, oh, need to get rid of that bar there. Oops, do not want that on there. Uh, went all the way down to around $6, and depending on what decks you're on or where you're looking, could have been like three or four. I think I saw three or four. But point being, we... Um, get rid of this. We got... we. We had an 80% drop is the, what I'm getting at. So there's an 80% drop here. Then on this one, we lost another 60% for 30 days. And this one's too short to track. This one's kind of short as well. So I didn't bother tracking these, but let's compare that to where we're at now. So um, this one looks the most aggressive because of how, how high it peaked. But technically we're only at day 47 and we've only lost 70%. Uh, 
So we're three days shy of the longest downward trend and we are 10% uh, shy from the worst downtrend. Now, does it mean it's just going to stop there? No, I have no idea. But uh, the point I'm getting at is that drip has been through this before. So if you are bullish on the contract and Forex's vision to leave a legacy in the space and actually do some good in DeFi, then all you really need to do is concern yourself with how much drip can you afford to buy? <laughs> at the end of the day, that's what it boils down to. Um, because these are actually discounted prices uh, that you can get in. Like imagine how these people felt back here when it was at $30, $30 and then it just traded down and sideways. But remember when it trades sideways, um, you're making money. So all the way to about here, these people were, you know, could have been bearish if you will. Um, let's look at that date range because that's about the same. So meaning it went down, but it went back up for this entire period. And I didn't check this. So we went here to about here. So it went up and down. So it went all the way down to 80%. And then before it took its big run up, December 10th, it, the average was 18%, basically. Or it was still at the low of 18% from the all-time high. This was 120 days, guys. This is, you know, four months. Um, so a lot of people were probably sitting here going, drip is dead, drip is dead. And we're sitting here at just over a month and a half, you know, underneath two months. So before we, you know, bail on the project, you got in because you either did your own research or you're FOMO'd in or you saw, like myself, what it had done for others. And you decided, fuck it, I'm going to get in. So if you're in... You know, remain positive, remain hopeful, bullish, and uh, look at this as an opportunity to consolidate and buy more. Um, that's the best thing you can do in this case because, hey, my uh, Autobot is working. Uh, just popped up to make a purchase. Um, so I look at this as an opportunity that, that dis, uh, drip is on a discount. So it's right now on a 70% discount from its all-time high. I got in around $130. Let's see what that one is at for where I'm at. My purchase price was $130. That's about here. And it's now at a 60% discount for me. So um, I'm going to look at purchasing more if I can get some liquidity together. Uh, theoretically, this could go all the way down to the $30 range, even a $20 range. So we see we kind of have some support and resistance. Let's zoom in here a little bit. It's not much. So it kind of bounced off of this for a couple of days or, you know, this is the eight hour chart. So this is around $30. And then you look at the, oops, didn't mean to move that, $26. And you move all the way over here, you had the 30 again. And then this level right here was a lot of price action, 20 to uh, 21 or so. There's uh, some support down here at 19. So it looks like breaking below 20. Many people didn't want to see that. So I would say, um, not financial advice, of course, but just analyze the chart. We could see more discounted drip <laughs> all the way down to between the 20 to uh, $25 range. So if it's if it breaks below 40, it's expect that it could go to 20 to 25. And again, this is your chance if you're already in to dollar cost average or um, reduce your capital. So if I got in right now, I got in at 130 and I bought like a total of seven trip, I think. So if I could buy seven more or so down here in the 50s, that takes my 130 plus 50 and that's an 180 investment that makes my total drip that i got in at 90 dollars, right so it's only 40 dollars below the current price if i could buy more than that then it drops that down even more so this is your opportunity to uh strengthen your position because in crypto and in the traditional financial stock market they say swim with the whales and follow the whales and i already showed you that video by um uh stunner breezy so when it got down here guys at three four dollars he, you can put it, watch it on a blockchain. He's not blowing smoke. You can go look at his transactions. It's there. He was buying 10000 at a time, like putting in $10,000. And he did that like five different times. He was buying down here. And because of that, 
um, his you know fifty thousand dollars at let's just say five dollars a token, he was able to accumulate one thousand drip, and then from there it was off to the races. So he's got a thousand drip that he bought at five dollars, and then uh, anything above five. And remember, he's compounding throughout there. It never went back down that low. So he bought the bottom. He literally bought the dip somewhere around the ten to five dollar mark. He mentioned his video was three or four. That might have been on the native decks, but still. He was bullish and he put his money where his mouth was and it's made him, um, like I did the math, you know, easily over a million dollars. The actual numbers I calculate with averages is seven million. Um, and he's given away just in his uh, drip team, one point some odd million. So um, I'm gonna remain bullish. That's why I got into this whole thing. I believe in its ability to change lives. I've seen the documentaries, documentation, I should say, the telegram groups of people that have uh, that got in back here and made a difference and all that. That's why they're pulling out profits. So I get it. A lot of us after our January 26th or whatever, is just seeing negative price action. So it does suck, but look at any other crypto, any other stock, anything like this. These are typical corrections. Bitcoin will have 80% drawdowns and then it jumps back up. So not comparing this to Bitcoin, obviously Bitcoin is the king of crypto. But if you got into the token because you believed in the tokenomics, you believed in the jockey, you believed in the use case, um, you believe in where it can go, then there's no reason to change that belief. And if anything, it's meant to now test your resolve and double down, not financial advice, of course, but I will be looking to accumulate more drip. Um, I've got some liquidity available over on Abracadabra and some lending platforms. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, at least one another 10 drip so i'm looking at 500 dollars or so that i can snag up somewhere or get some capital somehow uh to put that in and just increase my position so that's it for me guys just wanted to share this with you it's all about the mindset you can have an empowering mindset about this you can look at this as a half full kind of thing or you can be negative and say holy shit trip is uh tanking and you know the boat sinking and you know get out while you can or you can say this is a great opportunity for me to buy the dip dollar cost average in because in the long run i believe in the vision and you guys saw one of my very first videos i made five wallets right off the jump one trip in each one why because that calculator said five year return would be so much more uh, money in the long run than it would be putting this all in so i'm literally uh, looking at this as a long-term investment. Yes, not a financial advice, not an investment for you guys, but um, I'm looking at this doing something for the long-term and I believe Forex will deliver. Um, I do also believe there's gonna be more downward price action. I'm not even gonna lie about that. I think this is gonna continue to go down maybe for the next week, two weeks, three weeks, all until the piggy bank gets fixed and all eyes go back on Drip and the partnerships and he starts doing some more AMAs. Uh, some more YouTube YouTubers, uh, influencers, getting his content out there and getting more uh, onboarding more people into the space. So until then, we're going to probably see some more downward price action. But that's just, again, an opportunity to buy the dip to get a discount and improve your bag. Remember, money is made in the bear market, secured in the bull market. Most people want to jump in here. They want to FOMO in, then they get pissed off and they sell at a loss. Guys, you got to get in when it's red. When there's blood in the streets, that's when you buy. It sounds bad, but that's why the wealthy are wealthy. They take advantage of us emotional buyers and people without the education, and they, we, get to, we get wrecked because green means go. We're like, oh, this looks great. I'm going to jump on that gravy train, and that's when it's actually going to stop in reverse. <laughs> you have to do a little analysis, read up on stuff, do some history on the project, the, the use case, all that. Decide, all right, I believe in this long term, so I'm going to go ahead and accumulate when everyone else is selling. And right now, it's very clear that everyone is selling. And if you put your money where your mouth is because you believe in this, I personally think that you're going to reap the rewards in the long run. Um, we can look real quick at the analytics. It's not as many people getting in right now. We're sitting at 6,000 at halfway through the month, so it's going to be cutting this number in half which you know isn't that great but still 12,000 people look back here it's still you know four times five times more than what we had last year around this time well we weren't around this time but you get my point right so um it's almost 10x it's hell it's way more than 10x here so there's still new people being added and this is with the negativity the uh, 
issues within the space regarding the community and stuff like that. So once this all gets sorted out, which I believe it will, this will take another run. So you just got to buckle down, weather the storm, be willing to uh, take a risk. You know, it's all high risk. It's not low risk, high reward. It's high risk, high reward. <laughs> it's your money that you're gambling with. And this is a gamble, but it's just uh, one you can actually do some research on and decide that it's a better gamble than leaving your money in fiat or in the bank and get wrecked. All right. I rambled on long enough. Sorry, guys. I always keep this long. I'm trying to get better, making it short. But uh, until next time, lift daily, achieve your impossible, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.